What do you think is the most dangerous part of a turtle's life? Finding food? Avoiding predators? Certainly both of those are challenging, but perhaps the riskiest thing a turtle has to deal with is actually crossing roads. They may not seem like a big deal to us, but roads present a significant threat to wildlife, as it is estimated that over a million animals die every year due to vehicle strikes on roads in the US alone. As humans continue to expand into natural areas, human and animal conflict will only become more frequent, a fact that is already contributing to the decline of many species. Harmful as roads may be for wildlife, for people interested in finding animals, they actually provide a unique benefit. When animals cross over roadways, they're very exposed, and therefore easy to see. For attentive wildlife lovers, this means that even rare or well-camouflaged animals can be found much more easily than they could be in habitat, something that is held true for us today. All right, so we are racing to the scene. My mom just spotted a spotted turtle, pun intended. I have seen quite a few in this area. They are locally abundant, but actually very rare in this region, even considered endangered. And I know it's a very important target for everybody here on the trip, so we are going to do everything we can to actually get this turtle on camera. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. We're no gonna move way. off the road. All right. Right here, because he's actually about to come back on the road. All right. You guys see him? I didn't see him yet. Little shaky cam here, but it's gonna be worth it. Look at that. There he is. That is a spotted turtle. The spotted turtle is actually endangered here in North Carolina, and that means that we are not going to be interacting with this animal any more than we have to. Unfortunately, one of the major sources of mortality for spotted turtles are road crossings. This is by far the most dangerous part of their environment because of that right behind us. Cars are way faster than turtles and they do not stop for them. So to make sure that this endangered species does not get killed on its way towards the forest over here, we are gonna help it out, take a certain liberty and cross it, cross the road very gently. Now, if you ever wanna cross a turtle, make sure you're supporting its whole body, make sure there's no traffic, and we'll just gently carry it across the road, well off into the vegetation here. We know it wanted to cross the road because it was pointed in this direction, and now it has done so safely. Now we have a bit of rain moving through, so we're gonna try and make this quick, but Emilio, why would this turtle be on the road in the first place? Well, there's two possibilities. The first is that it's moving from one feeding site to another. These turtles are aquatic and they are omnivorous. So when they're in the water, they're gonna be eating algae and plants, but they're also gonna be preying on small animals, such as invertebrates, like crustaceans, earthworms. They're also gonna be eating a couple of vertebrates, such as small fish. Exactly. Another possibility is that this turtle is moving to a breeding site. Reproductive activity actually peaks in May here in North Carolina with this species, and they're really active between the months of April and June. So it's actually very likely that this is a female turtle either going to lay her eggs or just coming back from building a nest. Roads crisscross all of the aquatic habitat in this area, so these turtles are forced to move through this habitat every year. Like we mentioned earlier, spotted turtles are endangered here in North Carolina and throughout their range. So it means that it's very rare to actually get an up close encounter with one of these turtles. But here, Spencer, you see them pretty often. We are actually on one of my running routes right now. At this time of year when they're most active, I will see at least once a week out on my runs, I'll have to move these guys off the road. Crossing the road is easily the most hazardous part of these turtles' routes. Whether they're going to a feeding or breeding site, the area where they face the most threats are from cars. So if you're driving in an area where you know that turtles are common, even if they're not spotted turtles, any turtle at all will benefit from your awareness while you're driving. If you're out driving and you see something that might be a turtle, it always helps to slow down and keep a sharp eye out. This was such a special encounter. Harrison and my life are spotted turtle, and you too, right, Emilio? Yep, mine too. Spencer, I know you see these guys somewhat frequently, but still, Thanks. this was so cool. Can't thank you enough. If you want to see more from Spencer, check out his channel, My Wild Backyard, and Emilio over at Animal Encounters. If you want to see another incredible turtle encounter, check out this video where we filmed the Florida softshell turtle with Emilio. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.